to cut the round to cut in the round shape we you should go for a round katori round utensil whichever you have i have this there are so many option like uh, round cutter shape uh, available in the market or online amazon you could go some you could go online purchasing but here i don't have any round shape cutter so here i am using this utensil so here we could make two to three round shape chapati From this we could make two more doors, two more wraps. Now here we have three wraps. One, two, and three. make any kind of shape you want I would make three different type of shapes make modak laddu modak shape momo just do like this make plates 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 all over the wrap and just close the top of the modak and the modak shape momo is ready and now this one I would like to make a different shape from with the help of this wrap just think about some kind of shape uh, so here I will make this this shape momo so this kind of momo oftenly sold in nepal ne nepalese people make this kind of shape of this kind of momo shape at the first time in my life i ate this shape of momo in Nepal so here this is the new one if you don't know 
and if you already know it's good for you and now this is the steamer which i which i brought from amazon online so keep all those momos in here and just close this and rest i shall show you in the burner stove here i am using here i am using this dough and making these wraps in different way so here is the way make small balls of dough Whichever you like, whichever is, uh, whichever gonna be easy for you, just use that type of way or technique. So here is the way, uh, like we roll the pani puris, pani puri ka puri, or puris. This is also a good technique. I usually. go for this technique because uh, by making this kind of uh, wrap the wrap is gonna make thin uh, you don't need to roll your wrap thick so here i'm using the same stopping and just wrap close this wrap you could see this wrap is very thin and this is very easy to eat after cook this is also a new shape steamer you could go for 6 or 5 momo in the same time this is a very good snacks in indian kitchen because i am staying here in dehradun nowadays momo is very common thing in uttarakhand most of the people eat momo every day mostly pahadis people eat momo or chowmin kind of thing so here chowmin are very tasty and mostly so say mostly sell in the market and also i love and also i love soya chaat here uh, when i when i went to ludhiana punjab soya chaat is commonly uh, sell in the market in ludhiana or punjab as well as in here in uttarakhand i love soya chaat and i shall definitely make a video in uh, in cooking make a video 
while cooking soya chaat in fuser and i shall update whenever i post now this now it's time to cook these momos let's start so here i am using this silicone brush and taking some oil you could go any kind of oil here i am using mustard oil just brush it brush the base of all those momos and keep all those momos in the steamer by using this kind of technique your momo your dumpling would never stick on any kind of steamer you are using it would remove easily after cook and just close the steamer how to use this steamer let me show you i would like to take a utensil a bowl like here and you i'm going to use this utensil just fill this utensil with the help of some water don't go this level so it's uh, it's like 60 ml of 60 ml of level height so i'm going to fill this utensil a 60 ml of like this if you could see not half half it's quarter quarterly fill now just take your steamer full of momo or dumpling just keep those keep this steamer inside the utensil Keep your utensil of momo and just cover it with the help of lid and covering it with the help of this lid and now i shall wait for about 10 minutes or 15 minutes and shall check if it's cooked or not just wait and watch <laughs> 